Hello, my name is Paul Anthony Williams and welcome to part two of Son of the Hedgehog. I am just got done recording part one and darn it, got hit by a caterpillar. I don't know, it's been, a, it's been a while since I played this version of Son of the Hedgehog 1. Alright. And, you know, I say Green Hill Zone, and I think I'm just gonna talk about each zone as I go through it. I think Green Hill Zone was more about speed, you know, a little bit carefree. This is about more like, hey, we're gonna throw tricky stuff at ya. Can you manage to, like, uh, maneuver around it? And so far, I kind of like all the zones, uh, in this, in this. Because, uh, it doesn't take me very long to beat Sonic the Hedgehog 1. Like, each zone probably takes me around, like, between, like, a minute or two minutes and thirty seconds. Because... I played this game so many times. Like I said, I, I would pick pick this up and play it so many times. Oh, and one of the thing, I don't know. I think one of the reasons that drew me into Sonic was both speed and platforming, but also re replayability. Basically, like the more you play, the better you the better you get. Because I guess that's the reason why I like playing a uh, Pikmin so much. Darn it. And that took me no time at all. Even stopped by and, and picked up a collectible. Now, I'm, now we're going to face the uh, hardest uh, special stage in this game. Uh, special stage three. Yes, I believe the uh, third the third special stage is the hardest because you're in this big open circle. Oh, no, no, ah. Oh, can't touch anything okay okay I'm just gonna wait just don't touch anything just fall down there ah uh, darn it touch something okay one two I'm gonna try and you know I do like the special stages like the same reason why I like the regular levels it does take memorization and and a little bit of skill Nothing wrong with the special stage of Sonic the Hedgehog 2. I, I just like these more. I know it is taking me a bit of a while. Oh god. Oh god. You don't want to touch those goal signs. The, those do not those, do not hit those. They will boot you out of the stage. Okay, but I think I can get it now. Come on. Uh, okay, got it. Ooh. Took me a while. Hey, I got it. And that is the hardest special stage is done and over with. So it's going to be an easy, smooth sailing for me. So this is so this zone is going to be the longest zone that I'm going to have to deal with. I know this this reaches the two minute the two minute thirty minute mark. Push this block. Jump on it. Jump. Just keep running. Wait here, because if you if you go through that perfectly, those spikes will hurt you. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna stop, smell the roses, beat up robots. <laughs> well, like I said, I have played this several times, so I know what I'm doing. I mean, your first time run through with Sonic, uh, you are not gonna be as good as me, because it's sort of like a skate park. All right, so so this one, like I said, tricky platforming with your speed. So collect the rings. I'm gonna jump over here. Then I'm gonna do a long jump. Oh yeah, extra life down there if you manage to get there. You know, in that secret wall. I don't need it because I played this so many times. Ouch. I'm uh, getting a bit worried, but I'll be fine. Just gonna take things slow. 
Jump. Roll. And... Oh, stop. Secret. Oh, uh, yeah. So oh, yeah. If you're running with Sonic and if you hold down on the D-pad or joystick, if you, if you want, uh, he will he will roll into, like, a little ball. He can't do this thing called the spin dash or the drop dash or the insta shield. No, this is, this is like pure Sonic 1. And, you know, I could play Sonic Origins, but I don't know. It just, it just seems like I want to play this, though. If you want, I could do like a Sonic Origins playthrough of Tails, Knuckles, and Amy. I don't mind doing that. And don't worry, I'll play Sonic 2. And I'm gonna, and I'm going to utterly destroy that game too, also. And that takes care of the longest level in this game for me. Yes, even the, even the notorious fourth area doesn't take me as long because I know what I'm doing. So you can probably use special stages because if you collect 100 rings, you get an extra life. So you can probably use these special stages to like get yourself some lives. Ah oh, man, I think that was like a world record for me. Like I said, the third special stage is the hardest. <laughs> and I and I already have four. Alright, Marvel Zone Act 3, not too bad. Roll. Ah oh, yeah, Sonic has a bit of momentum, basically. How should I put this? When you're running, you're in control, but if you're rolling, you're letting the you're letting the physics take over. Uh, Sonic fans really like this. Uh, I do, but it's not really a big deal to me. Sometimes I like to have control. Sometimes I like to go. Sometimes I let the game take take control. But this is like more of a, pl plat a platformer than a speed spectacle one. And this one will take forever, but I can still beat the stage. E but I can still beat the stage in another two minutes, so it's not really that bad. Oh yeah teetering animation. Run, jump, roll. Like, all this is just muscle memory. And this is, and this is a secret way to get halfway through the stage. And can you believe that we're almost done? Yeah, I'm just gonna free some animals. Oh and it, oh and be careful uh, with this because uh, you will fall down. Don't be afraid to take things slow. And we have Doctor Ivo Eggman Robotnik. Jump over this side. Do at least because I think the point of this boss boss fights in Sonic are. How much damage can you quickly deal to the boss, basically? Because he has eight hits on him. And that is Labyrinth Zone done. My name is Paul Anthony Williams, and thank you so much for watching. And I will see you again next time. Have a good day, everybody.